live from Los Angeles. Welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. We've got an extraordinary guest in the back. Do you want to ask yes, a question this morning? Yes, Lana Grant. Good morning. Thank you for being with us at Good Morning Good La morning, La guys. Land. We're so excited to have you in the house. So we're focusing today on Transformation Tuesday. What does transformation mean to you? I think it's a, such a great question. Um, I was listening to what you guys were talking about earlier and whether it's set within or from the outside. And um, I don't know, to me always was, you know, that saying pretty girls, uh, happy girls are the prettiest boys or girls. And I do think it's, it's the inner happiness and what surrounds you that really helps to radiate the way you look and people react to you. And have you noticed sometimes people that whether they, there are some people that would look absolutely fantastic and you're just kind of around them and you're like, oh, I don't know. And others, you just feel so comfortable being around. And I think my transformation goal is to always try to find like that inner happiness that makes people around you just want to be around you and kind of radiates. And um, isn't it amazing though, when, when your clients come to you, you can really transform the way they feel about themselves after you know one or two hours in your chair they walk out and they feel like a new man or woman that's an incredible gift absolutely and like it's just seeing those smiles where like you really feel like you impacted their self-esteem and like the self-worth in their day is just it's absolutely priceless when they get up and they give you a hug that you really feel like it's just like a such a warm warm hug and like you really impacted their life it's you can't put a price tag on it no, it is priceless. I have friends of mine who are stylists who call themselves therapists, right? <laughs> <laughs> their hair. <laughs> stylists and therapists combine their hair. <laughs> so thank you so much again, Lana, for being here today. We will get back to the studio with her later in the show. She's speaking oh, my language. Gosh, really, right? Oh, happiness from the inside very, out. Very evolved woman, for yes. sure. Okay, you guys, so Transformation Tuesday. Yes. Rob, uh -oh. we want to hear. Uh -oh. Okay, yeah. so uh -oh. Rob's in the hot seat. We want to hear yes. what your daily routine is okay. from a standpoint of working out mm -hmm. from a standpoint of your mindfulness or spiritual aspect yeah. of your life you know diet exercise regime boy huge question right? right so i'd say that very first thing in the morning i try to connect directly to spirit i might call that life you can call that source i connect first and foremost when you're connecting Rob, yes. what time of day is it <laughs> <laughs> It's about 3.45. I find that it's a little early. incredible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's I, a little early. Wow. It makes, yeah, it makes the evenings a little tough, but... Um, so you wake up and it's dark out. Yes, it's very dark out, and um, it's very quiet, though, and it's very peaceful. So that's one of the reasons I like waking up that early. The other reason is um, it's good to get here in time, yeah, <laughs> which sure. I struggle with today a little. <laughs> but yes, so I wake up 3.45, I immediately try to recognize the connection, the eternal connection that I already have with life or source energy, okay? Mm -hmm. um, that's just a completely quiet mind and I try to feel the presence, I just call it that, mm -hmm. okay? So then I get out of bed, have a protein shake, get dressed for the gym, and then I sit and meditate. What do you put in your shake? Oh boy, so um, about time protein. Okay. So it's whey protein, it's about mm -hmm. time, it's all natural. Um, I put a banana, peanut butter, honey, Sometimes I add stuff like flaxseed or kale, um, so I'll mix it up a little bit. Um, so yeah. I do that, do the meditation, I go to the gym, um, I lift weights first, because I'm mostly trying to build muscle mm -hmm. and create tone, and then I do cardio after. And so do you do like upper body one day, lower body yeah, so I have Yeah, so I have a two body part split, so I do um, like Monday is um, shoulders and legs, Tuesdays is back and buys, and Wednesdays is um, chest and tries, and then I repeat that. Thursday, Friday, mm -hmm. Saturday. Sunday's my off day. Sunday's a cheat day. So I just like in speech, because I mean, I you paused at the wake up at 3:45, and then you become your own barista. <laughs> your own barista. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I wake up at six, and then I don't function until I have coffee, uh, and I make myself my own toast, and I pride <laughs> myself on that. But then you go all day, Jazz. I mean, you're yeah. extremely organized. Now, Rob, when you yeah. do the scheduling, yes, do you set timers for yourself? I mean, how do you stick to this so much? Yeah, regimen? so like I, so my alarm. Let's see if I can pull it up here. My alarm is like kind of, I'm a little obsessive because like today, the <laughs> one alarm went off and I hit snooze and then I didn't hear the other alarms. So normally it looks like this. It's like 3.15, 3.30, 3.45. I mean, it's crazy. It goes to like 6.15. 
So, so, so you go, how long do you actually like lift weights before you go to cardio after that? Yeah, so um, I was lifting weights for about an hour 15. Now it's like 45 minutes. Whoa. Um, yeah. Oh, geez, only 45 minutes, Rob. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then the first time that I do a body part of the week, it's I go really heavy. And then the second time I do that same body part later in the week, I go higher repetitions. Mm -hmm. And then after each day, I do usually high intensity interval training because it increases your at-risk metabolism. Mm -hmm. um, so that means that during the day, you can eat more of what you want, but the furnace is burning so hot that you won't put on weight. So what does that mean, inner, uh, what do you say again? Yeah, so your at-risk metabolism. Um, no, what, what's the type of workout? Oh, uh, it's high intensity interval training. Mm -hmm. So it's like sprinting for 30 seconds and then walking for 30 seconds, or sprinting for 30 seconds and jogging for 30 uh, seconds. Why how long it? should you do that? Uh, about 25 to 30 minutes, not too crazy. Hmm. Yeah. So why is it so important for you, Rob, to be that regimen? And you're waking up at 3.45, yeah. you're going to the gym like five or six days a week. Yeah. What makes you so dedicated to that? You know, it's a great question, Jeslyn. And uh, my family's so great and friends, they're always like, you know, you're so disciplined, Rob. You And I, I don't okay feel that way at all. It's okay to take a day off. Yeah, yeah. And I do on Sundays. Pretty epic cheat day on Sundays. But for me, I don't feel like I'm all that disciplined. I call it discipline which is essentially that I'm so dedicated and committed to being happy, and I've discovered that these things make me so much happier and more confident mm -hmm. and more present and just better company, that when I do them, I just feel better for having done them. So I started small, and I just prioritized consistency, and wow. over time, the consistency snowballed yeah. into the point where it is now. So then how often do you eat throughout the day? And it's different, yeah. I'm sure, because if someone doesn't work out that much, they're not gonna totally. eat as much. But... So the whole thing for me is to keep that furnace burning, so I will eat pretty much all day long. I'm a bit of a grazer. I don't eat real large meals, but I'll have the protein shake before the gym. After the gym, I hit my vitamin C and amino acids during the workout. I do like a multivitamin, I do fish oil. I mean, wow. it's, you know, but then throughout the rest of the day, I mostly eat, you know, stick to protein, vegetables if I can. Um, I need to eat more vegetables. Do you eat like low, like lean protein? Yes, or do you, yes, uh -huh. I try to stick to lean protein. So fish is ideal. Um, I'll eat chicken. Um, I will eat steak because I need, you know, particularly as a guy, you need more iron and mm -hmm, some other things. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's uh, it's a little bit of a project. So what would you say to the person who wants to start a routine like that but needs to get motivated? I mean, because this sounds like an epic undertaking. Yeah, so consistency is the key. Start super small. I mean, you want to set the goal something so low that you're almost embarrassed if you can't do it every single day. So when I started, I wasn't working out or lifting weights for an hour a day and doing cardio for 30 and all this. I was just simply saying, I'm going to the gym. Period. I may not actually work out when I'm there, but I'm going to show up every single day. When you're there, there's no way you're not going to work out, even if you walk on the treadmill for five minutes. Mm -hmm. You're going to do it. And so what time do you go to bed? Do you go yeah. to bed every <sighs> the same time every night of the week? I, I, I try weekend? to, yeah, because that's... So the foundation of all this is sleep. When the sleep starts to erode, then everything else erodes. Mm -hmm. Like the nutrition goes downhill, um, the, the exercise is a crap. Mm -hmm. So I try to get to bed ideally by like 8, 8.30. That's crazy. It usually doesn't happen until 9.30, 10. Wow. And you know. so a social life with going yeah. to bed at 8.30. Yeah. So the social life <laughs> is mostly relegated to the weekends. Okay. It's like Saturday night. We're all hanging out. So then what? You go to bed at 1 o'clock in the morning? Yeah. So then when? I might go to bed at 1. I might go to bed at 2. And then um, he has a cheat day all day Sunday. Yeah, when you say Sunday. cheat day, Oof. what are you allowing <laughs> yes. yourself? So cheat day, man, I look forward to that day every week. I, so cheat day, I eat mostly pizza. I love Fresh Brother pizza. Sometimes I'll eat Whole Foods pizza. I might get uh, five guys. I mean, I go in, I get like donuts. I go for my cookies. I have to get my like pretzel, like cinnamon. It's a whole thing. Oh yeah, Sunday is my cheat day too. And I always get a donut. I go down to my local yeah. kettle glaze shop oh. and I get the cruffin and it's a croissant turned into a muffin. And it is oh like God. speaking That's to my soul. If you yeah. haven't tried a cruffin, Wow. 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 I haven't tried a crop and I'm missing out. You I are. It's the cheat day that resonated with me so deeply. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel inspired to share with you, Los Angeles, about the crop bed. I'm glad you could get something out of that. Yeah, yeah. skip the 345 I, workout stuff. Let's just talk about the crop bed. Yeah, I don't blame you. And it's working for you, Jess. Yeah, right? I know. No, no. Um, speaking of which, so today, Aaron and I are starting the Fit, Strong, and Sexy Challenge with Focus TV family member mm -hmm. Amanda Russell. We are so excited. To tell you the truth, Aaron, I'm a little nervous. Yeah, Amanda, if you're watching, we love you, but you're a little extreme. <laughs> you do. It's a little into She's like a 
she's she's a raw, but as a woman, but even mm -hmm. she's even on steroids. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> healthy, healthy. Amanda Truly is one of the most fit, strong, and sexy females she I've is. ever met. Wow. She's really truly inspiring. She created an empire in doing so. So people across the country and across the world are really doing this. Mm -hmm. um, a special community is you know there for us on Facebook. It's probably not too late to join. They're you know really promoting more energy, better focus, increased confidence, higher productivity, and it's not just about like having a toned body, but it's really how it affects your mind. And she's gone all out. She plans snacks for us, meal plans, recipes. I mean, thank you, Amanda. You have crossed your teeth and died. <laughs> you know, it's really cool though because for somebody like me who's really intimidated but going into one of these like fit challenges, she really takes all the guesswork out of it. Mm -hmm. Sends us a video, sends us a menu. We don't have to worry about yeah. it. I'd say that's gotta be one of the greatest tips is when you're trying to get started, if you've been doing it for a while, is to reach out to someone like Amanda and you know see what she has to offer mm -hmm. because it helps you to get instant structure and organization in what you're trying yeah. to do. But it is also a little intimidating. It's like uh, somebody out there looking at you saying 3.45, yeah. Yeah. really, Rob? Yeah. But I'm with you, Rob. I think that something is better than nothing. And like once yeah. you start working out, then you want to work out. When you start eating healthy, you want to eat more healthy. So it's just the little thing that kind of yeah, spoils you to do a bunch Exactly. Of like when you start working out or go on a diet or try some new lifestyle approach, you always think it's gonna, like in three days or three weeks, you're gonna make this major shift. And you do make a shift, but I found that it's the consistency over like five, six months that makes a dramatic change mm -hmm. in my body and how I feel. Yeah. So one last question. So yeah. throughout the week, without your cheat date, you do protein and yeah. veggies mostly, but do you, what kind of carbs do you eat? Um, so I try to be careful about the carbs. I try not to do too many processed carbs. Mm. Um, you know, carbs just, are such a dirty they, word. I know, and they're so good. Like, I love bread. <laughs> um, I love pasta. I love all that stuff. Um, but I'll be careful about eating it. I might, I'll eat sandwiches and things yeah. like that, but I try to have it in whole wheat. Or, uh -huh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I thought about some of that. So yeah. what about alcohol? What about yeah. coffee and water? What do you Yeah, what are your so it's great. You know, the challenge with health-related information is that it's always changing like the science is always changing um it's great to have a glass of red wine every now and then thank but generally you. yes thank you world that, <laughs> wine. i take those antioxidants very seriously right? yeah it's good it's working for you yeah. like i said um but i i'm not real big on alcohol i just don't like the way it makes me feel mm -hmm. um you know i might have a drink every now and then on the weekend but i prefer not to do it too much just because it doesn't make me feel good yeah, I don't like the way I feel. right yeah mm -hmm. and then coffee Coffee every morning. Oh, you as do? many cups as I can have. I didn't know that. <laughs> no, I do have coffee. I didn't know that. Um, I've mostly started um, since we started the show. Yeah. yeah. Good morning. Oh, interesting. Rob. I think yeah. I've done Rob. Rob and I have been friends for 12 oh, yeah. plus years or yeah. something. So, but you know, it's funny. You don't even know. It's true. It's not like you hang out like in the morning with your best friends. You know, yeah. like you don't like know all the details of all that stuff. Yeah. Guess who's next? You're up next. <laughs> yeah. Next time we do no, this little segment, I, it's you. I'm really curious too. Yeah. What are you doing for your skincare? Like, because as, as yeah. a man, too, some people are like a little hesitant, like, oh, do I do the anti wrinkle creams and the mm. serums? And Boy. I mean, you show up camera ready all the time. Well, what you know, doing? Iggy Rodriguez, who was in here the other day, and uh, I had a long conversation yeah, about shout that. Shout out to Iggy. Yes, he was recently seen on The Bachelor, Bachelor in Paradise, and he rocked up, I mean, ready <sighs> for lights, camera, action. All camera. Yes. All camera ready, always, all the time. Um, you know, for me, I like to try different things. My mom is a great source of information for that, and I've got a couple of makeup artist friends. I'm really interested in hearing what Lana has to say in the back <laughs> studio. Um, but generally, um, you know, one of the things that I found, I remember reading an article and Halle Berry said, you know, I've actually stuck, she said, I stick to mostly cheaper products. And she said, I found them to be sort wow. of as effective or more effective than other products. So I try different things. I'm not really religious about any of it. Um, I just believe in like keeping your face clean and well moisturized. Well, you have great jeans, hello. Oh, but Halle Berry, I also remember her saying that she sleeps in a bra, and I was like, really? Huh. <laughs> yeah, she's like, this is how I keep them perky. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wear a bra really? every night to sleep. I'm yeah. thinking, yeah. sorry, they're going to be saggy or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not going to happen. The bra, sleeping in the bra is not going to happen. No comment. <laughs> no, I, yes. <laughs> I swear by my, well, besides my coffee, the hot water and lemon in the morning. Oh, yeah. I think that's such a great way to start the day, that's and that really one. like transforms the way I feel feel and I think it really affects my skin too, right. just your overall health. Right. They say that's a great idea as to um, have a full glass of water in the morning. I love the idea of For having sure. hot lemon though. Yeah, Hollywood homegrown right. lemon. So mm -hmm. Rob, if someone wants to reach out and get some yeah. coaching yes. from you, yes. I know that you have uh, coachrobmack.com, but where else, how else can they Rob reach Mac out to you? Rob Mack Official on go. Instagram. Yeah, there you go. Um, and you can also write to happiness from the inside out. 
at gmail.com. There you go. And they can read your book. And you can read the book. That's right. Happiness right. from the inside there out. There you go. So let's uh, get to the back studio yes. and uh, talk about getting transformation from the outside in. We'll be right back, you guys. Stay tuned.